Good day everyone! Welcome to Liceo de Cagayan University College of Arts and Sciences, Department of Natural Science, your subject, Environmental Science. My name is Kimberly B. Alvarez, your instructor for this subject. With the transition from the old curriculum and new curriculum, if we talk about old curriculum, these are students who did not undergo senior high school years, while new curriculum are those students who graduated senior high school. That is why you are called new core babies. The question there is why you have this kind of subject? Why you have in the science subject? Why? This subject is offered in the college. The main reason why you have ENV Sci or Environmental Science subject is because of the CHED Memorandum Order Number no. Twenty Series of Two Thousand and Thirteen. It states that general education curriculum holistic understandings in intellectual and civic competencies. So it is a CHED memo that Environmental Science will be offered in the college. So since higher education institution or the university is under CHED, so we need to follow CHED order. So these are some of the JEC subjects. Understanding yourself, purposive communication, readings in the Philippine history, art appreciation, the contemporary world, ethics, mathematics in the modern world, and science, technology, and society. Question, why? Environmental science is not reflected in the JEC subjects. It's because Environmental Science is an elective elective of the JEC subject. So that's mean that whatever missing in the JEC subject, so elective will be replaced. So another reason why you have Environmental Science is it is the replacement for the Filipino subject here in this university. So question why you have in the science subject, it's because of the CHED Memorandum Order Number 20 series of 2013. What do you think will happen when all the trees in the rainforest will be cut down? Or harmful chemicals will be spilled in the river? Or rain snow will increase drastically? These are some of the many topics to be discussed in the field of environmental science. Overall, environmental science is an interdisciplinary field of study that deals with the interactions of the physical, chemical, and biological forms of the earth. If we talk about interdisciplinary, it means interconnected. Interdisciplinary, interdisciplinary because it incorporates information and ideas from multiple disciplines that includes natural sciences and social sciences. So, the figure that you can see is the interplay of the interdisciplinary field, no? So, interconnected with the field of natural sciences and social sciences. So, the following are the physical, chemical, and biological parameters in the environmental science. So, in the later part of the discussion, there is a specific topic that will be discussed during the water pollution and the water quality that each of the parameters will be discussed. So here in introduction of environmental science, I will introduce to you some of the list of the physical parameters, chemical parameters, and biological parameters. So these parameters are very important. It's because this is the indicators of a good and bad environment. Let's proceed to the scientific method. Scientific method is a method of research in which a problem is identified, relevant data are gathered, a hypothesis is formulated from this data, and the hypothesis is empirically tested. For the easiest way to define scientific method, it is a step-by-step -step process that able to solve problems. So here are the steps for identifying the scientific method. So, um, most of you guys are already familiar with scientific method because it was already presented or introduced to you during your high school years. So, first, 
step in the scientific method is observation. So you cannot identify the problem without observing the environment. That's why the first step in scientific method is observation. The second step is the question or the defined purpose. The thing you want to know or the question you want to answer. The third step in the scientific method is you need to construct your hypothesis. Hypothesis is what we call the educative guess or after identifying the problem, you can now construct hypothesis. Educative guess or prediction of the outcome experiment, this guess can be tested by performing an experiment. In constructing hypothesis, you need to do this one. HO or the null hypothesis or H1 is the alternative hypothesis. For the step four, prediction and collect the data. After constructing the hypothesis, you now to predict and to collect data. Perform the said experiment. For step number five, test and analyze the data. Once you already perform the, the problem or the experiment, you need now to test and analyze the data. Review and analyze the data you collect during the experiment. So after you collect, after you review, and after you test the data, you can now proceed to the conclusion. So in the conclusion, it's determined if your hypothesis was correct or not. So in the conclusion, you can, this is also your basis in rejecting and accepting your hypothesis. Let's have an example. Let us apply the steps in scientific method. Using the steps in the scientific method, make a research proposal on the topic growing bean plants. What are the possible topics or problems can we find in this example? So let's have this. So the first step is the observation. So how this bean plant propagates? So unsa do ni siya nga tanong mutubo kaha no unsa ka nga klase nga tanong mutubo okay that's our hint no this, that's our hint in proposing the scientific method in this going bean plants for the step 2 question and define purpose so i want to know if a bean plant will grow more quickly outside or inside so you already classify how you're going to do your scientific method by identifying your problem or your question or to define your purpose. That's why I want to know if a bean plant will grow more quickly outside or inside. So as you can see in the diagram, it was already classified you know, that a bean plant will be classified indoor and the other bean plant will classify outdoor with sunlight. So how to construct the hypothesis? For our null hypothesis, there is no difference between growing a bean plant indoors and outdoors. And our alternative hypothesis, there is a significant difference between growing a bean plant indoor and outdoors. Take note, in constructing the hypothesis, remember that in the null hypothesis, always there is no difference. And the alternative hypothesis is the, the other term for no. So there is a significant difference between Okay, so remember that one. For the predictions and collect data, plant for bean plant in an identical path using the same type of soil. Place two of these in an outdoor location and place the outer two in an indoor location. Care the plants in an identical way, like giving the same amount of water. Then each day for the three week of experimental period, carefully record the size of each plant so if so to visualize what is the predictions and data or predictions and click data i'll present to you the diagram so this is a diagram for the number four so so indoor and outdoor we have same type of soil that like we use the loom soil so same ang um, two diagram ginabunyagan ninyo siya for the span of three weeks. So figure one showing the experimental procedure for plants indoor and outdoor for three weeks. So for number five, as you can, for the test analyzed data, so as you can observe within three weeks, based on the experiment done of 
the following are the plant progress over the course of the three weeks. Outdoor plants grow size more than indoor plants. So, muni mong na kuan na bantayan. So, one plant in the indoor died. So, in the test analysis data, you can already pinpoint that your null hypothesis will not be accepted. So, it will be rejected. So, you will be accepting your alternative hypothesis. So, based on the data collected, the researcher accept the alternative hypothesis and reject the null hypothesis. So, that's the steps in the scientific method. So, these are some of the examples in how to do the scientific method. Okay, let's now go to our quiz number one. Please, everyone, proceed to our Google Classroom for your quiz number one. Bye!